So I've um, grown up in a Christian home. Um, I've gone to church kind of my whole life. Um, and it was when I was about, I think about the age of 12, I went away to a summer holiday camp. And that was the first time that I really kind of encountered God. Um, and I was like, okay, like, I want to um, follow God and his um, plans for my life. Um, so the next summer I um, got baptised and um, went into it quite naively, thinking, you know, life's going to be great with God on my side. Like, it's just all going to be perfect. Um, and then obviously that, that didn't happen. Um, so going through my teenage years, I um, encountered various kind of struggles and kind of wandered away from God. Um, and then when I finished school at 18, I went down to Sheffield to university there. And um, when on my first day, I remember praying, being like, okay, God, like, yeah, can you please show up? Like, I need you. Can I just have a good, like, first day? Um, so I was feeling quite optimistic, kind of going into that new kind of season of life. And then um, that evening I went out and I ended up getting spiked and assaulted um, when I was at um, university and ended up in hospital and uh, at the police station. Um, it ended up that I had to drop out um, of university um, at the Christmas time and ended up back at home kind of really angry with God and the world and asking those really big questions of like, why would a good God let something so bad happen? Um, and those few months were really difficult, trying to kind of wrestle and kind of work out um, kind of who God said I was and if God was real and all those, um, yeah, just the, the big questions. Um, so, and at one point I was like, okay, God, like, I just need you to show up. Like, I, can't, I, I, I don't know kind of what to do otherwise. Um, and I was talking to a friend in a coffee shop and I remember her praying for me and I was like, I just need God to show up. Like ideally like big flashing lights, like thunder, lightning, that would be great. Um, but a couple of weeks later, I was literally just sat in my living room and um, watching the birds and the trees. And um, it was just in that moment, I was like, actually, you know what? God, God must be real. None of this could have been a mistake. Um, and from that point, I've been like, okay, like if this is like encountering God through nature, that was really when I was like, okay, God's real. And what's said in the Bible must be true. It was really just kind of, kind of reconnecting with God, wrestling with those big questions, but knowing that God was big enough to kind of take those questions and to take um, my like hurt and anger like towards him and kind of, yeah, kind of process that through. I think kind of throughout this whole journey of the past um, three or four years, it's really been, um, really great to kind of look back and actually see you know like God has been so faithful through it all um, and there's a worship song where it says kind of even what the enemy means for evil like you turn it for our good and just kind of seeing like the the things that have happened these past few years obviously there's been some really really low points but actually through all that like God's been so faithful and so kind and now ending up in Durham and the other day I was walking to church and literally kind of just tearing up that actually you know what like Sometimes life is really difficult and really hard things do happen, um, but God's kind of faithfulness and love can kind of completely transform that, um, which has just, yeah, been such an encouragement to kind of take into my life.